All right, so here I'm gonna do a test on how long does it take to charge my phone. I have this LG uh, dual screen uh, V60. Thank you. Uh, okay, so let me just turn off everything here. All right, so here we go. Um, I was wondering, uh, this comes with a LG, supposed to, it says somewhere 20, 25 watt. Yeah, 25 watt, because it takes forever to charge. Uh, I thought it was gonna charge really fast. But, um, so I'm gonna plug it in here. I got power there, I need two hands to do it. I'm holding the camera, so I have to uh, be patient with that. So I plug it in. That's great. You can leave it plugged in all day. It doesn't use any power. That is good. What else? Okay, so now I'm gonna plug it into the, the phone there. So it's supposed to use 25 watts. Uh, by the way, the phone is discharged 35% or something. 33%. So I'm going to leave it here for a while uh, to see if it makes a difference. Because there's no way it's using uh, 25 watts. It's not, no way because it's only taking draining 13.3 watts. And uh, while, while this is happening, I'm just gonna talk about what I'm gonna be doing. I'm also gonna be testing this other one. Uh, this is a T-Mobile charger I bought a year and a half, two years ago. And uh, it was in storage a lot of a uh, long time and I've been using it now the last three, four months to charge the, this phone. Uh, and it charges pretty good, fast. And the reason why I'm using that is because I have this I don't have a type C cable or else I will be using that one right so, so this is USB like that and, and but this has two outlets uh, it has a type C and it has the other USB uh, the first original USB um, okay so it, it see it stays at 13.2 makes no difference so I'm going to uh, I'm gonna pause the video and I'm gonna plug it in without the uh, magnetic uh, adapter thing because this is the magnetic thing that they got so it, it's easy to plug in I like it I love that okay all right very quickly uh, back at zero and this is my metal dust. I was doing something with batteries a little bit earlier. So, um, what do we have here? It's still 34%. And I'm gonna plug it in there as the best I can with one hand. There, plugged in. Same, 13 watts. Maybe a little less. What was the other one? I don't remember. 13. Oh, yeah, it is using a little bit less power. But there is no 25 watt. All right, so what's the next thing I was gonna test? Okay, I'm gonna test it now with this. Before I put it in the in the machine, let's see if we can read what it says there. This is uh, five volt, one point eight watt amps. Oh, and the the other one is three amps, so it's, it should give you fifteen amps. Okay, I put it on the Type C.
and rinse with tin amps. It's doing what it's supposed to. Actually, it is faster than this. Because this one was 13. So what? So. So what the hell is wrong with this? Why it doesn't do it? Yeah, I was suspicious about it. So actually, if I use this charger, I'm gonna charge it faster. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Now we're gonna remove that. Back to zero. And put this, this one on. That's what I've been using. I don't like to do fast charge unless I'm in a rush for a reason. But that's why I got this phone because I thought I was gonna be outside of the house and I was gonna be in a rush. And maybe once in a while I had to do a fast charge. So there you go, I put that in. Yeah, 8.3 watts. Yeah. And now the last test I was gonna do is try this one. This is a Samsung also two year old. It came original with an S9. I have two of them because I bought a, a, a charger that as such that's magnetic. You don't have to plug in. I'm gonna test that one too. So you guys know how, what it does, how much does it power. But this, uh, I think it's not efficient. It drains more than what it actually goes into the phone. So, uh, Let's put it, let's put the other one. Ah, let's see what happens when I leave it unplugged. Zero, baby. <laughs> you can leave that charger on. It's not gonna waste any power at all. That's great, that's good. Same thing with this one. All right, so here goes the other one. The Samsung charger. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go buy another charger. Woo! 4.8, 10, 10, 10 watts. Yeah, I thought this was pretty fast. So this is if this is able to push more power. I, there is a reflection on that thing. Oh, no, yeah. All right. I'm using this night to make the video. I still have it. It has a crack uh, glass. So there we go. I'm gonna unplug it. So whether you put this uh, magnetic thing on or not, uh, it's not making that much difference. So I'm not gonna test that anymore. Uh, unless you guys want me to do it. Um, it's about, the, it's the same. I have to put it back on the on the case. Oh, by by the way, if you guys want to know uh, this case that has a, that, that makes a double screen, it's just the case. It's very lightweight and it's pretty. I dropped the phone a few times and no no scratch, nothing on it. No problem. It's nice. I wouldn't drop it from very high though. About three feet drop was the biggest one, right into the concrete. I think it had, it, yeah, and uh, and you can replace that if it breaks. I think it's a hundred bucks. It's less than changing the glass on a, on a phone, definitely. Um, so yeah, I like the phone. The phone is great. I I have a problem with the McDonald's app. It hangs on when you put it on this side of the phone. So what I figured out is I transfer the I open the app and I put it on the on the other side of the on the phone and, and it works great. And I think there is another app that that acts I think it's the Uber driver app or yeah I had trouble I I had a lot of trouble with that with that one. Um okay, pause this and uh, I'm gonna test another uh, charger a little one so here are the other chargers this is also for a Samsung 
that was a hundred and hundred fifty dollar phone about a year ago I bought this is an LG that's also was very inexpensive phone and this came out of a dental floss <laughs> thing so uh, I want to find out which one uses less power actually because I have a night light that runs on on uh, USB power and I want to see which one uses le the least power and, uh, and that way uh, I won't be using I will be you know it's running all night so okay so let's try it let's pause it I'm, actually I'm not gonna I'm even gonna pause it So I'm, I'm using this phone because I know it has a fast charge, so it's gonna wanna use a lot of power. So it, this is gonna give you the most power it can give. It's using 9.2. That's the Samsung chip phone. All right, let's put another one and it's plugged in. And this is 36%. All right, this is LG cheap phone. 7.7 .7 watts. That doesn't mean that it's charging faster or, or not. It's just, I'm just measuring how much is it draining. And I know that it cannot go any faster than that. It's not creating energy or anything like that. 7.4. Okay. And this is the uh, one for the teeth. 8.5, 8.1. Do I have another one? I have one, but it's, uh, no, it's very old. So it's not gonna work here. All right, so I got 8.1. I'm gonna test this big one again. Big one. Eight point three. <laughs> so this and this are using the same amount of power. Eight point three. Eight point one, eight point three. So now I'm going to put the white cable, which is USB to type uh, C and USB type C on both ends again. Just going over in case something was linked or something. Type C, type C, uh, T-Mobile charger. Uh, okay, now the, today is the uh, February 2021, right? 2021, and I bought this in 2019. Fifteen, fourteen, fourteen point four. Now, this, now I'm testing the charger that I bought uh, two months ago. Less power. It's using less power than than the than, than the other ones. Is it more efficient or is it that the phone is not taking the power? Or the thing doesn't work? 
Well, it says 25 watts. Well, what is the 25 watts? So there's something wrong on this. Uh, something is not right. Okay. Ah, don't forget to give me a thumbs up or a rating, I should say. Thanks.